Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In uh, today's uh, tutorial, I'm going to take you through the number system conversion and uh, specifically on uh, decimal to binary conversion. And we are going to dive uh, on the whole thing using the long division methods. Remember that uh, we can convert a decimal to binary either using uh, long division or the place value method. So I will take this one uh, for this uh, particular example. I'm going to take you through the long method. Then the next other example in the next video, I'm going to take you through the place value method. So you can check the two videos. Then you try to compare which uh, method is easier for you. So before we dive into the example, we need to remember that uh, decimal for the decimal the number system uses 10 different digits in the counting that is from zero for this one is from zero one two three four five six seven and nine those are 10 digits while for the binary we have two digits that is namely zero and one so for you to convert a number from decimal to binary using the long methods these are the steps that you are supposed to take Step number one, you divide the decimal number by two. Remember, why are we using the two? Because we are trying to convert the decimal number to binary, which has two digits. That's why we are using the two. So you convert the number, you divide by the number by two continuously until you write down the reminder. As you write down the reminder, until the quotient is zero. Then after that, after you get the quotient is zero, you read the remainder from downwards going upward. Then the final part is to write the answer in the base two. I hope of the other point we are together. And uh, guys, remember, if you are new in uh, this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you have any question or any suggestion, write it in the suggestion box. On the suggestion section on the comment section i will get back to you okay let's go direct to our example so this is our first example where we have five base ten remember the rules you're supposed to divide the number by two okay let's start with the two so we have uh, the number the number is uh, 15 let me try this is a 15 15 this is a solution 15 divided by 2 which is a 7 this is a 7 reminder you get 7 Reminder one. Then you take the seven, you divide by two, then we have seven divided by two, where you will get three reminder one. Next, you get the number three divided by. 2 which is 1 reminder 1 then lastly we have 1 divided by 2 and the answer is 0 reminder 1 so after you get the concept 0 the concept is the last part so you'll get the 0 this part this is the quotient. This is our quotient, the one that I've highlighted. Okay, now remember the rules. Have to get the quotient is zero. You are supposed to read the, the remainder upward. You read the remainder, not that. R stand for the remainder upward. So I will draw another line going upward to elaborate how to go about it, the answer. Therefore, Final answer is this is the final answer. 
you read uh, the answer going upward is one 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 they are supposed to be four ones then you read the answer with base two to translate that uh, we have converted the number from decimal to binary binary the answer is supposed to have a base two as the answer okay let's go to the next example i hope that you have had confusion so this is correct okay let's move to another example where we have 10 base 100 base 10 i will give you maybe two minutes you go through the whole thing following the step that we have highlighted then i will do it as a as you watch so that seconds remaining okay let's do it so our number is 100 remember the rules you divide the number so we have uh, this is a uh, so our number is a uh, 100 you divide by 2 and this one will give you 50 50 reminder zero next we have the 50 okay sorry for that so we have a uh, So we have the 50 divided by 2, which will give us 25 reminder. You get 25 reminder 0 as usual. Then the next part, the 25 now. 25. This is 25 divided by 2, which is a uh, 12 reminder 1 then we have the 12 divided by 2 which is which is a 6 reminder 0 then the 6 divided by 2 which is a 3 which is a 3 reminder zero then the three three reminder two which is a one reminder one and lastly one over two which is zero reminder one Remember, whenever now you get the quotient being zero, that is the end of uh, your calculation. So our quotient as per now is uh, zero. Okay, having done that, uh, the next step is to read uh, your remainder upward like this. I usually prefer to use the arrow to give me a rough idea on how to, to get uh, the answers. So you write your answers. The answers are the one one zero zero one zero zero base two remember for binary number which has two digits you must have two has the base okay okay as you can see we have done it correctly so you give yourself a right if you have gotten it correctly before we dive now to our last example okay let's move now to the next uh, 
the, the last example, which is uh, on uh, 64. A very simple case for 64. This is 64. Suppose this, sorry for this. This is 64 base 10. Okay. For 64, we start with the as usual. Maybe I should give you maybe one minute. By now, you should be able to do the whole thing within the shortest time possible. 50 seconds. Just look at the rules. Forty seconds. That seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Now let's do the whole thing now. So we have uh, the number, which is a uh, six four divided by two, which is a uh, thirty two. Reminder zero. Then the thirty two, thirty two divided by two, you get uh, sixteen. 16, okay, problem, let me wrap this. We have a 16 reminder, zero. Then we have the 16 divided by two, you get a eight reminder, zero. Then we have the eight divided by two, you get a Four reminder zero, then the four divided by two, you get uh, you get uh, two reminder zero, then we have the two divided by two, you get one reminder. Zero and lastly, one over two is equal to zero reminder zero. Sorry, 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 it's not reminder zero, but reminder one. So this is also this is a reminder one, this is a reminder. So as long as you are able now to get the conscious being zero, it means that that is the last part of your working. Okay, then last step is to read your things and uh, the binary the binary digits that have been generated as a reminder as your answer. Therefore, we have one one zero zero. Zero, 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 base two. So that is the final answer that you're supposed to get. So you give yourself a tick for that. So if you convert a 64 to 54 as a decimal to the binary, you will eventually get one zero zero. 0, 0, base 2 as the answer, which is now the binary number of the decimal. So I hope up to that point we are able now to use to use the, the long division methods to get or rather to convert a decimal number to binary. So in the next video I will show you on how to use the other methods that is the place value methods. So in case you are having a challenge on this one, you can try on the other one. So in case you have any question or any suggestion, write it on the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day.